Hello my dear friends, welcome back again into another lecture of the mathematics for the CSE stream students. Okay, we are discussing the model question paper 2. So, so far we are discussing the varieties of uh, questions. Okay, if you are not watched it yet, you can go through the description box and avail those important questions. Okay, important questions from the model question paper. So, this is your uh, question number 8b. Suppose that 10, 12, comma 16, comma 19 is a sample taken from a normal population. Okay, so what is given? First of all, write down the given data. That is your sample size. 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the four samples. So, n is equal to 4. Uh, from a normal population with a variance uh, 6.25. Okay. So, in this question, the variance is given. Okay. Not the standard deviation. So, you should remember uh, variance is represented as sigma square, which is equal to 6.25. So, I can write sigma is equal to under root of 6.25. So, what is the sigma value? So, root of 6.25 which is equal to 2.5, okay. So, sigma is equal to 2.5, okay. And mean is not given in the particular question. So, I, how I can calculate? So, see here 10, 12, 16, 19. These are the samples given. So, mean is equal to number of observation, sorry, sum of observations divided by total number of observations. So, I can write here as 10 plus 12 plus 16 plus 19 divided by total number of observation is 4 which is equal to 14.25 okay so i can write here as mu sorry x bar is equal to 14.25 this is the mean uh, which is given in the problem okay sometimes we have to calculate this one and we are represented it as x bar uh, just because we have to find another mean that is your find at 95 percent confidence interval for the population mean okay that mean is represented as mu over there okay so what is the formula which you have to remember that is your confidence interval or mu is equal to x bar plus minus z times sigma divided by under root of n okay this is the general formula but at uh, we are calculating here as 95 percent so at 95 percent confidence interval okay we have to calculate this one okay so for that i can write here we know that confidence level at 95 percent okay the corresponding value the corresponding value or z it is given by 1.96 okay so in the previous problem we have calculated the z value sorry you have to remember the z value as 2.5 something okay which is uh, calculated from the normal distribution table so you should remember this value at 95 percent interval okay z is equal to 1.96 so just put down this value in this particular equation mu is equal to what is the x bar value 14.25 plus minus z z value is here 1.96 sigma sigma is here 2.5 divided by under root of n sample size is 4 okay so let me calculate this one 1.96 multiplied by 2.5 divided by root of 4 which is equal to 2.45 so mu is equal to 14.25 plus minus 2.45 so what we are taking the lower end of the confidence interval so i can take the lower end of confidence interval mu is equal to first of all you should subtract these are the two values plus minus first take the minus value that is your 14.25 minus 2.45 okay 14.25 minus 2.45 which is equal to 11.8 so 11.8 is the lower end of the confidence interval and the upper end <coughs> upper end of confidence interval is equal to mu is equal to 14.25 plus now you have to take plus value positive value plus 2.45 so 14.25 plus 2.45 which is equal to 16.7 16.7 so i can say that the range of the confidence intervals is from 11.8 to 16.7 this is your answer for this particular question i hope this is clear to you people only thing is uh, you should remember the formula okay and for the confidence interval of 95 percent the corresponding value z is equal to 1.96 nothing more than that okay these are the very simpler problems you can easily get 20 marks from this particular module okay so i wish you all the best for your examination thank you